what are your predictions for what's going to happen here? Shit's going to get fucked up. I'm <laughs> I think it is. I don't know. We already talked about how I think it's going to end on some giant cliffhanger. Yes. It, it's 100%. Gonna, well, since there's two, apparently two post credit scenes, I wonder if those are going to be the cliffhangers or not. It's probably going to definitely be things to excite the audience, but what I'm excited for is there's definitely going to be a family fight scene, I predict, uh -huh. that I'm just so excited for. Absolutely. And I looked up spoilers and I found out... Hey! 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 None of that! But yeah, so this ties into Doctor Strange 2... So, if they do what I said to you, and they just forego an actual climax just to put it off until Doctor Strange 2, I'm going to throw one of the cats through the television. No! That's valid. Yeah. No! Can it be to lose at least? Sure. He's, he's the most bouncy. Y'all about to, to lose your mind. Okay, let's start. <laughs> let's start the episode. People are really mad about this finale. Welcome back, everybody, to the end of my WandaVision series. This is your last spoiler warning. If you have not seen the finale, then go watch it, for the love of God, and then come back. Pretty please. Again, that is your spoiler warning, and now we're gonna get into it. So there was really only, like, two things that bothered me through this whole finale, and one of them is just kind of like... Not even a big issue. It was just annoying. But the other one was Ralph. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get it out of the way. Ralph bothered me. You're telling me that you're building up this character uh, this character of Ralph through the whole season. It's Agnes's husband, this mysterious husband that we just never see. And then you give us Pietro, fake Pietro, Fietro, if you will. And so you get everybody's minds running, and oh my god, is this finally going to be the Fox and Marvel crossover? But no, it's just Ralph. And it was all just a lead up to a dick joke. Agnes doesn't live here. You do. You're Ralph Boner? Boner. <laughs> Seriously? That's what you get, like, oh my god, dude. Like, I'm not even mad that it just turned out to be some dude. It's whatever. But, a dick joke? That's, no. And I see all these people who are like, oh, well, maybe it is actually the person in witness protection that Jimmy was looking for when he, whenever he first met Monica. But no, I mean... It's possible, sure, and would Peter from the X-Men movies 100% make a dick joke out of his fake identity? Yes, he would. But Jimmy was talking about how, like, this dude just went into witness protection. But from the papers that we see, this Ralph Boner guy has been there for a while. Plus, he's an actor. No. No. And so, d does this Ralph Boner guy just have super speed? Does he just have that? And if that's the case, how lucky was that? That Agnes just found somebody with super speed so that he could pose as Pietro. And Or did she give him super speed? And if that's the case, Agatha just has the ability to give people superpowers now? They, they they never touch on that. <laughs> it was so annoying. But that's like the only actual issue I have with this. The other one was simply just like whenever Agatha breaks the hold that Wanda has on everybody. And I, I'm sorry, but I forget the actress's name. But the, mo the mom, Kitty from that 70s show. And she was like, if you're not going to let us go, then just kill us. Like... I can just imagine some dude in the back who's just like, um, 
I'm cool with the with the mind control. You you don't got to do that. Other than that, this was a really solid finale. Like uh, I I was expecting more fighting, but I shouldn't have because that's not what this show is. It's not what it was. It's never what the point of this show was. So even though the fights that we got especially between the two visions weren't long, they were completely satisfactory. And really, it, again, makes sense that the two visions would essentially talk it out. And really, it was a it was kind of interesting the way that Hex Vision broke it down. Like, which one of us is the real vision? You have all the physical parts. I have the mental parts. So, so really, I guess that means that the that white vision is eventually going to become real vision since hex vision unlocked all of his memories which was kind of the whole point the memories are like a soul and so now white vision has the body and the soul he just still looks like he has a really a really bad skin condition where he should avoid sunlight but he just pieces off so he i guess he just has to go find himself which i get it and the, the, the whole throwdown with Wanda and Agatha was so badass. I really wish we could have gotten more from her kids because, like, they, they what, stop a couple of cops once? I, you, you, that's all you're going to give us with that? That was kind of upsetting, too. But when, but when Monica is getting shot and the bullets are just... That was... That was cool. I was watching this episode with my friend David, and there were there were a couple of moments in this in this where like I literally um, like damn near cheered. Really, at mainly when they're up in the sky and Wanda is basically doing what the Hulk did at the end of the Ang Lee Hulk movie, just throwing all of her power at Agatha so that she could absorb it. That was it. That was right where my mind went. I did. <laughs> Even though that's a terrible movie. But, but when Agatha went to like use her powers. And then it, then you see that Wanda cast runes across the entire hex. Bro. That was. Oh my god. And then like. Again. Last time I'm going to have to say this. I don't know a whole lot about Wanda's whole thing. Like in the comics. So if her head, headdress was always meant to be a crown. Then forgive what I'm about to say, but I love the upgraded look that they gave for her outfit because her headdress doesn't look like just this big clunky red thing anymore. It looks like an actual crown because now Wanda is the queen bitch around these parts. So she's going to run everything. And what she did to Agatha was probably worse than actually like beating her down. She she trapped her as the neighbor character from WandaVision. So she's just stuck, which is just, that's that's ruthless. That's damn near cruel. And the ending was legitimately heartbreaking. Like when I was watching it with David, I posed the question, when they're putting the kids to bed, do you think that the kids knew what was going to happen? Like, do you think they had any idea? Or do you think that they thought they were going to wake up in the morning? I'm not sure which one is sadder. Knowing that you're just going to cease to exist or not knowing and then just basically being a child and going away in your sleep god that's <laughs> that's so fucked up and then the whole goodbye scene with wanda and vision was just it almost brought me to tears i'm not even gonna lie i it almost brought me to tears if they were to have repeated any of the goodbye lines from infinity war i would have had an actual breakdown <laughs> and then it it wraps up pretty solid. I mean, Darcy just kind of jetted off, which makes sense. She, she, She's just like, okay, I'm going to ram into Hayward, which, hell yeah, Hayward gets his, and then I'm just going to GTFO. And then Wanda, well, well, we'll get into Wanda in a second. 
But the first mid credit scene, whenever Monica like goes into the uh, the theater, and then that one soldier lady like turns like shows that she's a scroll. I'm not gonna lie, Captain Marvel is so far back in my memory because I wasn't a big fan of it that when she turned into a scroll, it, it was like, oh right, those are a thing. But then when, when she's like, the big man wants to talk to you, and Monica's like, who? And she does the whole, like, just say Nick, C Nick Cage. What? I wish. Just say Nick Fury. We all know it's Nick Fury. Like, why are you being cryptic now? Just say that it's Nick Fury. We know that he's alive. We're well aware of the fact. We know, we saw, unless somebody for some reason didn't stick around for the end credits of Captain Marvel, we know, we know that it's Nick Fury. And then the second end credit scene was just, like, based, so we now know that Wanda is absolutely stronger than Strange. Which, it took me a second to, like, fully rec rec recognize that, because whenever i think it was agatha said that she's the scarlet witch is supposed to be even more powerful than the sorcerer supreme i instantly thought of tilda swinton i completely forgot that strange is now the sorcerer supreme so she's even stronger than strange is i'm sure as far as the totem pole goes it's like wanda strange but like she's and we see her in action because whenever Strange does his whole astral projection thing, his body basically just conks out. But when Wanda is doing it, she's just going, walking around, enjoying the weather, making a cup of tea, while her astral form is going full just crazy person mode, looking horrifying, and I must and just learning as much as she can from the dark cold presumably to try to get her kids back because you hear them screaming and i already know vision's gonna come back at some point especially since white vision uh left and there was the whole line about you know I said goodbye before so it stands to reason we'll say hello again they, they basically told us that vision's gonna come back which i'm 100 percent cool with I don't want to lose Paul Bettany. But yeah, this was a very emotional finale. I'm very pleased with it. I'm very happy with it. And um, I'm not going to be doing this for every show. I'm not doing it. I can't do it. I cannot. This will turn into a Marvel channel. I think we have one more week until Falcon and Winter Soldier comes out. And I can't, I can't do this. I will do reviews at the whenever the shows are over. That's when I will do reviews of them. Until then, I have to go back into <laughs> reviewing movies. I have to. But what did you guys think about the finale of WandaVision? Were you satisfied with it? Because I was, for sure. And if you're one of those people who's like all pissed off because your fan theories didn't come true, get over yourself. You're not a writer for, MC for the MCU. You don't get paid for this. If your fan theory didn't come true, then that's on you for getting your hopes up that whatever you thought of is not what they thought of. It's fine to theorize as a fan. I do it. I did it throughout this entire video series. But just watch watch the stuff, theorize because it's fun, but then enjoy whatever they give you. Because WandaVision was great. Would I have liked something to come out of Mr. Boner? Of course. Ew. But it is what it is. We'll get our Fox characters eventually. Just let it go. Have fun. Watch it. It's the whole point. Anyway, did any of your theories actually come true? And if they did, which ones were they? And if they didn't and you're not a salty crybaby, which ones did not come true for you? Let me know all of this down in the comments. Go ahead and check out my social media. The links to all of that will be down in the description. But before you do anything, go ahead and hit the like and the subscribe so that I can see you guys next time.